Hey everybody, welcome back to the Hayden Family Farm. My name's Chris and today we're going to do an unboxing video here of a vegetable planter that we bought. So uh, this is a walk behind planter and specifically we mostly bought it for the sunflower patch that we're going to put in. Uh, we want to try and minimize the amount of uh, tillage and things in that area. It's a very stony area and uh, we're thinking of doing just strips and leaving grass in between so that way it won't be muddy when customers come to check out the sunflowers and go through the patch. So, um, and I don't have a sunflower planter anyway. <laughs> so this one will do all, all types of different seeds. We could plant corn and, uh, you know, like I said, all, all kinds of vegetable seeds. But I did mainly buy it for planting our 4,000 sunflower seeds that we have. So I just thought I'd show you what I got with doing unboxing and these two boxes are the planter. We'll have to put it together. Um, so this is a planter by a company name of Cole. I believe it's a high quality planter. And uh, while I'm yakking, I'll go ahead and start uh, unboxing here. Um, you know, we tried a cheaper planter years ago, a little walk behind, and in our soils, it, uh, oh, let me spit this towards you. In our soils, the little plastic wheels and everything wouldn't cut it, just wouldn't do it. So we wanted something that was much more heavy duty. So uh, through some research, I found this guy here. So, this is very heavy. That's awesome. Uh, what do we got? Some other parts in here. And well, let's lay that baby down a second. Here's our manual. And the rest of that is just cardboard. So, let's go ahead and open up what you guys do with my knife. Ah, there it is. Okay, so let's open up the second package. I'm not sure what's in here. I think it might be a marker, like a row marker that you can put on. So, I think that's what's in this box, but we'll open her up and we'll see what we got here. Oh, no, nope, I am wrong. It's the handles, not the row marker. And that's all that's in that box. So we got our two, these are wooden handles. Must be our row marker is a little smaller than I thought. It must be in this little package here. So uh, let me take a look at these uh, instructions here quick and we'll see what we have to do to put this together. Okay, so I'm looking at the destructions here. <laughs> we got a pile of bolts. 9 16 7 16 inch wrenches and uh, these awful instructions. I don't know if you guys can see this or not. Some of it's faded. It almost looks like a typewriter type font. It's very hard to read. Uh, but we're going to start putting this thing together here and see how it goes. Um, basically, we're working up here. we got to put the arms on. Um, I think there's a rope and some other little pieces here that we got to put on. So let's get working on that. All right, so we're having lots of fun here. Uh, got the bolts all figured out, but uh, the holes aren't big enough. There's a 3 8 bolt here and a quarter inch bolt here. And this is exactly a quarter inch size drill bit. So I've had to drill out the holes to get the little quarter inch bolt to fit in there. So what I'm working on right now, you know, I got the one handle started. Now I'm not tightening these down yet. Let's see if she'll stand up now that we got both. Not really. Well, kind of. There. So now there's a cross piece that goes in up top. Now yeah, we'll get those two going. Now you can see it kind of spread out the handles a bit. So we'll have to tighten those down. Like I said, I hadn't tightened any of these other bolts down yet. The handles actually are adjustable. I'll bring you over here. 
So you can, I don't know if you can see, but right down where the this nut is, there is a slot here on both sides. So you can actually lift and lower the handlebars a bit. You know, I guess kind of based on the height of the person using it. So um, let me kind of see where I want that. I'll tighten up those bolts and then we'll go on to the next also, step here. Now we're, we're going to install, there's a J hook and an I hook that go up on the handles and they shorted me a uh, lock nut. And of course it's a different size than those. So I went and got a nut and a lock washer. I bolt. So, going to be tight to get my uh, lock washer all right so I got these two pieces tightened down I loosely just have this rod I believe it's like a shut off and you turn the planter on and off with that rod and I'm currently working on the little row marker thing here um, so I wanted to show you up close a little bit here the end of this rod has a hole in it right there so that goes in that piece and then up underneath here there's a little spring that I've lost on the floor here somewhere here we go there's this little spring then under the spring you put a flat washer and then a cotter pin so all of those go up underneath on there so I'm going to put that together, but I believe I'm missing a piece because right here, um, this is your row marker. This is supposed to be adjustable on this rod, you know, anywhere you want to mark your row. And they give you kind of a, a wing nut type deal here. <clears throat> and the picture shows it going down into what they call a locking collar. And I believe this would tighten down uh, onto that rod and keep your row marker from moving side to side. Um, <clears throat> you can kind of see it in the picture here. Uh, that's where we are right there. And uh, I know this kind of stinks, but that is part number 57 right there above my thumb. And uh, part number 57, if you read their horrible directions here, part number 57, let me pick this up here. Now my screen went dark. 57 is, oh, set collar, not locking collar, set collar. So um, I don't see that here anywhere. Um, I mean, I'll look around on the floor to make sure I didn't kick it somewhere, but I think I'm missing that piece. So, All right, guys, welcome back. For you, it's been a quarter of a second. For me, it's been weeks and weeks. <laughs> I've been waiting for this little package to arrive. This has uh, this little piece here that we were waiting for. Uh, it's called a set collar, and uh, that, that was holding up us finishing this up. So you have your basically your row marker that is adjustable here uh, on this shaft but this is what we're going to slide this on here so now um, according to the wonderful directions we have here and I say that with as much sarcasm as possible um, some somehow here it shows you guys could see this there's a rope here and it shows just pointing down there the rope and it comes up to the handlebar and that's what uh, you pick your like basically at the end of the row um, you pick up your row marker with this little rope it does swing to the back I think maybe just for storage purposes that's where I'm going to kind of leave it here for now. So, other than uh, we have this rod here that, uh, let's see, I think it goes, which one does it go in? I think it was this one. We need to put that in there and I got to get pliers and pinch that 
uh, tight that you're on off. All right, so we'll go up, up close here. Um, I have no idea what that hook is for. It says absolutely nothing about it in the manual uh, that you use it for anything. And then here's the front of the manual. There is actually a color picture. And I don't know if you can see, that hook is on there and there's absolutely nothing going to it. So I have no idea what you use this hook for. Not a clue. But uh, anyway, so this is what it looks like. This is your on off for your seed. You gotta bump it and pull it. And then of course, like I said, your row marker will swing out. We'll take a peek in the hopper here. They give you quite a few different seed plates and there is a chart. Uh, but basically what it comes down to is uh, you need to match you know, your seed with the plate. Um, there is one in there already. The one that's in the unit, I guess, is the one that has the smallest holes in it. Um, mine was actually, the edge of this was actually bent. I had to take it out and try and straighten it some. So, hasn't been a positive experience here, but that's what the inside of the hopper looks like. Uh, these are actually little uh, stiff brushes right here that will bring the seed down over to the hole. So that's pretty good, uh, much better design than the previous one we had. Um, on the inside here, there is, I know there's a glare, but there is a little bit of a chart there to sort of guide you for some of the common things that you'd wanna uh, plant. So that's helpful if you don't have the book. Uh, it is driven by, there is some gears here in the front. Uh, the front wheel is what drives the planter. So that's nice and heavy duty. Uh, you know, the one thing I can say is there's not really any plastic parts on here, which is nice. So I think it'll hold up in the long run. Um, everything's adjustable down here. There's a little stop right here. You can adjust that. So, um, yeah, overall that's, that's pretty much the Planet Junior here. Um, You'll be seeing this in some videos, uh, planting videos coming up this summer. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell icon so that you don't miss the videos. We're gonna give it an honest test and see, uh, you know, see if it <laughs> if it if it works as good as I hope it does. It was it was pretty expensive um, as compared to other ones out there, so it better uh, again. Just, just to be clear with everybody, uh, you know, this is not a sponsored video. We didn't get paid anything. We didn't get a discount. It was absolutely nothing. Uh, bought this completely on our own because we wanted a um, reliable, uh, heavy duty. We have a lot of rocks here. I probably said that in the beginning of this video weeks ago, but uh, we wanted something that would be able to handle the rocks and the stony ground that we have. The main reason we bought this was for planting the sunflowers. Um, it is a vegetable planter. Can, you can plant all kinds of vegetables. We do most of ours. Uh, we start them in the greenhouse, grow them into plugs, and then transplant them into plastic. But uh, our sunflowers this year, our sunflower patch, uh, this is what we're going to plant the rows of sunflowers with. So we got about 4,000 seeds we're going to plant, and we did not want to have to go through and do all those by hand. Um, so yeah, so look forward to some videos coming up of seeing this thing in action, good, bad, and different, whatever. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching and, uh, hey, sure hope to see you on the next video.